Fossil Fuel Fridays. Billy Bennett, thanks for coming and uh, out to the Oil and Gas uh, Expo here in Oklahoma City. Soar, Soar, S O A S O E R and yep. the O E R B. That's we right. have a lot of advocacy groups and acronyms here in Oklahoma. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yes, like boss. Like boss. Um, introduce yourself, Billy. Uh, tell me, uh, tell me who you are and uh, how you got into oil and gas. So my name is Billy Bennett, and currently I'm the current owner operator of Bennett Oil Field Services. Uh, what I do is I help other companies and oil field companies, particularly in new startups, new technology. And currently, I'm working on one right now that is, is will provide craneless wireline solutions. Craneless wireline solutions. solutions. You, you've ran wireline. What in the yeah. world is he talking about? Okay, so you're talking about completely going away with all the cranes. Yes, no need going, for a crane. All, and on everything's location. on one truck? All on one unit. One unit, one truck. Okay, one unit, yes. so I, I'm a cool tubing guy and wireline and everything in the past. So this is exciting to me. So tell us what, without giving away too much, tell us how you're going to do that. So basically, we take... And, and we've actually developed patents. We have now three patents that have issued on this technology. And what it allows us to do is be able to lay down and access the wellhead horizontally from the wellhead. So we will be able to either deploy wireline tools as they currently are so we can disconnect from the wellhead, be able to pull the tool up into the lubricator and deploy it, connect it back to the wellhead, or we can actually breach load the tool, if you want to use a gun terminology, and stay connected to the wellhead and load the tool from the top side of the lubricator. Whoa. Wow. Okay, so when are we expected to see this wonderful technology? We currently now are working on developing a prototype. We now have the ability to design and build it. We're just now looking for funding to be able to put it together. All right. Now, how do you how do you get funding for projects like that? Who are you reaching out to? Great question. So the amount of funding we need is very small. So we actually are able to do this through angel investors and things like that. But we really are looking for a partner uh, in oil and gas that may be able to provide us some some capacity or capability to have other conversations and deal with other alliances that we may want to work with. Okay. If I was an operator, I would make sure you got funding because what you're going to do with that technology is save a lot of time, which Footprint. translates to a lot of money. Well, and what we're trying to do is that in particular, but more importantly, eliminate risking operations at the well site. And anytime we have lifting operations, it is high risk. Less movement, it's much better. Exactly. And in addition to that, less downtime because all of that movement, disconnecting, connecting the wellhead, requires an additional amount of time that we don't need to deal with. All right, so how many units are you wanting to, to be able to get? Our initial prototype, hopefully, we can do in about three to four months. So that will get us the ability to test it at the wellhead. We already have a client that we're working with. So all we really need is the funding to put together the prototype. Now, if you had, if you had the perfect partner, how many units would you want to do? To really go commercial, to start commercially, we could start with three units and, and be pretty successful. Okay. Uh, our ultimate goal is to really start with 10 units at a commercial time time frame. The reason why that is, at the moment, when you look at the split flow, or, or I mean, the, the split uh, frack that are going on, where they're trying to do uh, zipper, yes, yeah, si simul frack, systems, yeah. simul frack systems, yeah. uh, we need more units to be able to do that because we'll have to have two all the time on location at all times. Okay. Very cool. I'm glad you know about all this stuff. I need to learn more about Wireline. But I, uh, Billy, how do people get a hold of you to fund your company or to uh, call you for your services? So my email is billy at cranefree.com. And my phone number is 405-651-6328. Well, Reach out to him, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Man, I appreciate you. I'm glad you're in this industry. It's great to see Happy you. Happy to be here. I've been in it all my life. I don't know anything else to do. So. <laughs> Amen. Uh, again, we're here at the Oklahoma Oil and Gas Show uh, by uh, the SOER and OERB. Uh, we're here with our friend Jason Spies from The Crude Life, uh, supporting him and uh, live the crude life. Um, go crude life. And of there course, you go. love the pod. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Mertz Manufacturing and so, uh, Night Fire Specialists. That's right. We'll I'll be putting fire suppression units out at those sites when they're doing uh, well site operations. Once we get done building them for you. Exactly. Say, I'll make sure your, <laughs> make sure your equipment involved. doesn't burn down, right? Oh, we love it. Well, this is what we do, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Thanks God bless. Everybody. Bye bye. God bless you. Good to see you, Ken. Good to see you, Matt. It is great to be back. It's uh, it's been too long. We've. Uh, I think we should hug it out. We, oh, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Billy. That's like being a sandwich. He's he's our first victim today.